Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Mr. Click here for eLearning. I am dressed all professionally here today. Figured today was a day I'm going to wake up, dress uh, professionally, be ready to go for the day. Let's attack this day. So happy Wednesday to you all. I'm going to be looking all over at my notes as well as getting to a document here in a second. We're going to go over the questions from yesterday. But before we do that, shout out to Rose Holman Fighting Engineers. Um, that is where my brother, Ben, who you guys know, um, that is where he went to school. It is a very, very um, impressive engineering school and things like that. So going on to our topics for today, we're going to continue on with the French Revolution. We are going to do notes on Friday. So you got another couple of days to, to get your mind right for another notes session. Today we got a lot going on, though. We got a lot of stuff that we are going to get to. It's a very important day for us. So, are you ready for this? <laughs> let's do this. For today, revolution, French Revolution. Let's go over those questions from yesterday. Maybe go back to that document from yesterday. Maybe if you haven't done that document for, from yesterday, I didn't think about that. I might give you the answers right now. But you guys all did that. So, go back to your answers from Monday. You watch that video about the French Revolution. I'm going to look over here. We're going to go through these together. Question number one was about notes. We're going to do that on Friday. Question number two. Okay, if you're not there yet, pause this and then get to it. Oh, okay, you're ready. Question number two. What was France's people broken up into at this time? It was broken up into what? Three estates. Okay, so it broken up into three estates remembering those different estates okay so at the top estate um, you could think of it as kind of like a triangle as like a triangle you have the clergy is actually up there at the top okay of course the monarch would be up there as well because he um, is the leader of the country which would be question number three coming up here in a second um, but think about the clergy in the top portion there not a lot of people okay then second estate will be your nobles Okay, so the nobility, people working usually within the government or tied to the king, all sorts of things like that. And then the third one, the biggest one, 98% of people are in this. This is merchants, this is people who own shops, this is middle class to poor people as well, which is peasants. Okay, so merchants and peasants make up this class, makes up 98% of the people in France at this time, which is a lot of people. Okay, that is a lot of people and those people are being taxed. That's going to come up here in a second. Question number three, who was the king of France? Louis the what? 16th, okay. He is Louis the 16th. Important to remember there, Louis the 16th. Um, question number four, who made up the third estate? We already talked about that. That is the peasants, okay, as well as merchants and things like that. They are taxed heavily. Question number five, explain the voting of the Estates General. The Estates General talked about three estates get to vote. So we have the three estates. Each estate gets one vote. So 98% of the people, the peasants, are going to get one vote. But the top two estates, so the clergy and the nobility, they can always outweigh the third. One plus one is two. Okay, so they are going to be very upset about that. You saw that in the video there. What was the first event of the French Revolution that really kicks it off? There's a lot of buildup leading up to this one event, which is the event we're going to talk about today. That is the storming of the Bastille. Okay, the Bastille is a prison. We'll talk about that here in a second. But the storming of that in the beginning of bloodshed. Okay, then leading into number seven, what does King Louis try to do in 1791? He tries to run away from his own country, and he's captured, so that doesn't go so well. Um, eventually, he is not going to get some very good endings in his life. What happens during the Reign of Terror? Think about the words, the Reign of Terror, people are going to die. Okay, that is where the guillotine comes out especially. How does the French Revolution end? One man comes out of this, a very short man with his hand in his pocket right there, Napoleon, and he is going to take the reins of power within that. So those were the questions from there. Today, you're going to scroll down. It is going to be about the Bastille. 
Sometimes I say Bastille. I'm not the greatest, okay, with pronunciations. But Bastille Day is a common day, um, a celebration in France at this point, and you're going to find out why from the topics for today. There is a lot of buildup within what we just talked about. The third estate, those peasants getting taxed heavily. They're poor. There's no money in the country. Um, food is too expensive to even buy. They can't buy food. They can't eat. Okay, all sorts of things like that. There's a lot of buildup. They're still continuing to get taxed while the top two estates are just partying away, having a grand old time. That is going to lead up into this one event, July 14th, okay, on this day. That is Bastille Day. Um, but there's a lot of buildup. There's crowds who gather up some weapons, but they don't have gunpowder. Where are they going to find this gunpowder? The Bastille Prison. They are going to mob the prison eventually. You're going to watch more on this here in a second. You are going to see that people are going to be killed. There is going to be a head on a pike. They are going to stick a stick in the ground, take off this person's head, and stick that head on the stick. Craziness, okay? A lot of bloody stuff going on, and that kicks it off, okay? Right below this, you will watch a uh, video, a little YouTube video that's going to show you um, what happens with the storming of the Bastille. That is actually from a documentary that is from the History Channel. It's actually on YouTube as well. Um, I have watched this in classes before. Kids love this. I love it. Um, I have gone through and rewatched it yesterday, so I'm super pumped about it. You can actually do that for extra credit. At the very bottom of this, there's a link to that. You can just simply watch that, write a paragraph. You can get 20 points extra credit. It's like a letter grade. Um, but you can do that. So you can scroll down at the bottom. It talks about extra credit. Um, if you really like that video, you'll probably want to watch that whole documentary. Then there's a PDF assignment right below that. It's going to say click here, take two notability. You are going to read this, answer six questions, but I want you to practice with communication. Remember communication, a huge staple of Mr. Click's classroom. You are going to read this out loud. Try and read it out loud. I have some guidelines I kind of highlighted, underlined. I think that helps a lot of people along their journeys. So what I would do is I would read this maybe to a brother or sister, a family member, whoever you live with, all sorts of things like that. Practice your communication. We're not in school, but you can still practice what Mr. Click preaches, okay? So maybe I would read that out loud. I would take that document, read it out loud. It will take you like five minutes, okay? And then you can pick any six questions at the bottom to complete, okay? We have a trivia question for extra credit as well today before I finally get done rambling here. You can canvas message me. This tie is from the British Museum. My mom went there years ago, years ago. Um, and she sent me this tie in the mail. And I am very thankful for this tie. But it represents a certain object within history. We talked about this because this is in world history. This is a famous object. What object was this from? And I will give you a hint. This decoded something. If you know that, Canvas message me. Let me know if you got any questions. Notes on Friday. Peace.